Hey everyone, I'd like to start this video off by uh, letting you guys know there's a new Devil May Cry uh, bundle edition and it's called Devil May Cry HD Collection and full special edition bundle. Uh, I don't know how long this has been out, I'm sure it's been out fairly, probably maybe a week or so. I don't know how long it's been out but I just checked and this came up. Um, this is the new stuff that they, they've I guess have been putting out or whatever to make more money for the other game or probably a part 6 to Devil May Cry 5 I'm not sure but that's just my assumption um, this is just everything that comes with it you know it's it basically the Demon Hunter bundle which is what I have for Devil May Cry Special Edition uh, Devil May Cry 4 Alright, why does Dante look different? Why does Virgil look different? Nero look different? Uh, Hadiako went to took to Twitter a few times past past last year and not only this is what he said I'm just throwing some ideas out there but I think it's about time DMC got a game designed revision looking at current global trends and the amazing graphics in recent Capcom games the next Devil May Cry game could do with the full model change like New God of War 1 out of 2 instead of being an anime style hack and slash maybe Capcom will, will turn Devil May Cry 5 into a realistic cinematic action game so essentially when he made these statements not not only just not you know in 2018 but uh, previously you know two years down the line when I believe when Devil May Cry DMC reboot came around you know he took a lot from that and when he released this uh, trailer at the E3 worldwide worldwide premiere uh, as you can see that's <laughs> that's Virgil and you can see he's diff he looks different as well his face is completely changed it's near his arms completely changed it's not the same as it was the Devil May Cry 4 so all of these changes are essentially because of the new engine and we will get into that in just a sec um, here we go Devil May Cry 4 this is the design essentially everyone loves but you know guys didn't know that the only reason why Dante looks this way is because there have been past changes um, like past changes for the red orbs they've looked different they've been customized the cinematics cinema, cinematics the everything prod souls all that actually I believe we didn't have prod souls they were, they were souls but not called prod souls uh, the ranking system hasn't really changed all that much um, it's been the same I know this this uh, here this, this is from the reboot but um all the other stuff is uh, it's just you know it's it's a part of the change and here we go if you do not know what a game engine is a game engine lays a software framework to build and create video games they provide features for all from animations to artificial intelligence game engines are responsible to re for rendering graphics collision detection memory m management and m many more options so um, this is what you know like if you see a character sweating and it looks so damn realistic or the pores on the face that's what they're using. This is what currently the developers for Devil May Cry 5 are using is the Unreal Engine. Uh, here we are with Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry's first Dante appearance. As you see, it looks completely different. The only thing that hasn't changed is the red coat. Devil May Cry 2, completely different. And here we are with Devil May Cry 3. Devil May Cry 3 is actually inspired because the voice actor Ruben auditioned for the voice for Dante, and he looked he looked. They kind of looked like the character. He like kind of looked like the character, so that's why they made him look just like Ruben. And not I don't know if you guys knew, but Hadiako or Hadi Hadi Ki, I don't know how to say his name, but he worked on Devil May Cry Resident Evil. And Dante was supposed to be a main character. In that. Uh, here it is. My only opinion is that people continue to love Devil May Cry series, both fans and creators alike. It is now yours. Um, I've been getting a lot of Devil May Cry tweets lately. Devil May Cry is a very unique title and honestly hope that people enjoy it. I'm also very happy to see all the messages, etc, etc. Um, he was just, uh, you know, venting that... He was basically just sitting here venting and saying, Hey, I love Devil May Cry. I haven't forgotten about it. It's a great game. I love that. The fans love it. I want you guys to continue to love it. The reboot as far as it goes that's pretty cool and that's actually essentially the vision that Hideyoko Heideki has been seeing for Devil May Cry 4 like the past after Devil May Cry 4 he's been seeing this for a long a very long time now with that being said I know a lot of you have uh, seen the interview recently with 
with uh, the, the guy, the head of Capcom, or the guy that, that works for Capcom. Um, he was talking about in an interview uh, with, I don't know, it was a YouTube, I believe, probably, or it was ING, ING, um, people that work there. They were talking to him about the whole change, you know, and he expressed, he was like, hey, yeah, I I want this change badly. I, I've been wanting this change since Devil May Cry 4. I've been working on this project for four years straight directly. And um, like he's had his ups and downs with it. You know, he's been skeptic about it, but he's very proud of his work. And I, I don't blame him. And it's been a very long time since we've seen graphics like this for Devil May Cry series alone. I mean, Devil May Cry, DMC, the reboot, had had better graphics and designs than Devil May Cry 4, and that was 2000, I believe, 10 or 11. But, alright, it's been Rizora. I just want you guys to get a good idea on why everything's been changed, and it's not to, to copy the reboot or anything, and I hope you guys enjoy. I am looking forward to Devil May Cry. Thank you guys for watching. It's been Rizora. Bye.